Sorry, I got this uh, interrupted. Um, if you watch my live video um, uh, earlier, about five minutes or ten minutes ago, um, I just opened up my iPod Classic to replace the battery. And you can get a replacement iPod battery online at iPod Battery Depot dot com and the iPod batteries go from 18 bucks and it comes with tools like these prying tools right here to get your battery open and a flathead small flathead screwdriver you really don't use the flathead to screw anything it's just there to lift open the um, security lock tab for where the iPod chip where the iPod battery chip goes in and stays locked in and then you can push it down with this it makes it easier so yeah and the iPod battery one of well this this is how it looks basically it's a little small little thing here and then um, it got this little strip here and then if you see real closely right there this is where the this is the battery chip you attach it in you put the um, you put down the uh, safety latch that holds it together and um, it should work so I'm doing the white iPod if you see my uh, YouTube video I'll also throw the link in the description for that video um, where I wanted to replace the batteries with this iPod if you watch my live video on Facebook it works. It works. Just need to charge it, and all the music's still on there. So, hooray! Um, with this one, same thing, but it says 30 gigabyte. So you have when you go online, you gotta make sure you're getting the right gigabyte uh, iPod battery, cause it's a different uh, battery for um, each iPod. In this case, I bought three. One for this one, which is a 60 gigabyte. And then one for this one, which is a 80 gigabyte iodized aluminum iPod Classic. There's a specific battery for that one too. But we're gonna focus on the 30 gigabyte because all the process, the processes for all the iPod Classics are pretty much the same in terms of replacing the battery, battery excuse me. And I got cut off because um, someone was calling me. So, anyways, let's open this up. So, we got the battery right here. I opened the battery here to save, uh, well, I opened it here to save some time. So, one thing to note is don't want to mess with the hard drive. See the hard drive right here. Don't want to pull anything out of the hard drive from the hard drive. Just gonna mess with the uh, back panel of the iPod. That's the one with the battery. Okay, so here we go. This is the bottom of the iPod where the charging port is. When you're looking at it on the right side that's where the battery chip goes in to replace the battery so I don't know if you can see that we're gonna lift open that latch tab there carefully I think I did it and then you're gonna pull off the oh there you go just came right off you're gonna pull off the battery there and since that is disconnected, you can flip the battery, the back panel of the iPod, over. See, here's the, um, the only problem. The only problem is this rubber piece doesn't correctly anymore. 
probably old and worn out. Anyways, it'll still it'll still work. Just as long as the hard drive is in there. I think that's the reason why when you um, have an iPod for a long time, you can see like it a little bit. You can see a little opening there. It's because the hard drive and there's rubber casings are pushing the iPod apart. Just as long as it's in there and the hard drive isn't messed with, we're good. So what we're going to do now is remove the old battery. You take your tool here. Just kind of like pry it open. Like that. There we go. See, we just took out the battery. We only messed with the battery. So, same thing there. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the new battery. We gotta make sure we did it right. Okay. So it's gonna look like that. It's gonna look... It's gonna be on there like this I think yeah and then this and then the tab right here the little chip tab is gonna be facing up if we're looking at it like this so what we're gonna do is um, the iPod battery has a 3M adhesive backing we're just gonna peel that off and you can see you can feel it, it sticks. So we're just gonna stick that back on the back panel here. Carefully. Like that. Make sure it's in place. There we go. So we're gonna press down hard on it. Should stick. Should stick. Make sure it's on right. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Looks good to me. And then, flip the cover open. Or wait, you can even try and bend it a little bit. You can try bending it a little bit like that. It should have actually bent it. Try not to bend it too much. Anyway, I'm going to flip the cover open. Try to stick that in there. I don't know if you can see it. But I want to try to stick that tab in the slot, so to speak. It's kind of hard because everything's connected together. There we go. So it's in. And then you push down the uh, security tab to hold it in place with your uh, flathead. Okay. That's it. Let's see what happens. Let's um let's turn it on while it's while we're here anyway. camera's going down. I haven't connected it on, but you can tell that it's on, that it's turning on, and the battery's working. Because you can see the Apple logo. Waiting for it to boot up. So there it is. at no battery or um, no charge right now so what I want to do is clip this back on there. 
don't know if you can see that. The battery, the iPod's working. But we're going to have to charge it. For sure. So there you have it. I'm going to turn this off. Hopefully, all the music's on there. Let me see. It's going to die on me pretty soon. Oh, all my music's still on there. I'm gonna charge this. I'm gonna charge this. And I'll do another follow up video letting y'all know how long the battery lasts and if it's good for a few hours or something. Usually, when I listen to music heavily, um, I can probably listen to music for like a good like five hours or four hours until I have to charge my iPod. That's when I'm in deep listening mode. But this iPod works. If you see my uh, Facebook live video, you can finally listen to my music on this iPod. And I replaced the battery successfully on this one, as you can see from this video. Just gonna have to charge it, and then I'll do a, a after video YouTube YouTube video of what happened on the iPod batteries and how long it lasts and if it's a good idea to replace your iPod battery. So far, I think it's a good idea. And then I got one more. I got I've ordered three batteries. I got one more uh, iPod to replace this um classic one. This iodi uh, iodized aluminum classic one, which is the newer model to these ones. So I'll throw the link in the description on where you can buy the iPod uh, replacement batteries. And also I'll throw the link in the description to the previous YouTube video of where I wanted to replace the batteries. And I just did a little quick um, opening of the other iPod. So if you enjoy this content, don't forget to click the comment, like, and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And it's really easy as that on replacing the iPod battery. I didn't think really much of it. You really don't have to go to a, a specialist to, a, a, or to replace the battery. You can even do it yourself, as you can see. Just don't mess with the hard drive. Or anything else like that just only the battery in the back panel and you should be good to go so only took me like five minutes thanks for watching